antichrist is different from people who just have false doctrine there are people who have false doctrine for example some years ago in nigeria if you say you are born again it means you cover your head is that true if you don't cover your head you're not born again i mean i'm talking about early 80s late 70s into early 80s some of you are not there so you won't know what i'm talking about every born again christian must tie scarf that's the only way christians were known no earring no necklace and you cover your ear with the scarf that was the identity of christians that was wrong doctrine that's not antichrist and some years ago men cannot be tolerated to wear earrings no jerry coil if you perm your hair you are a child of the devil you are an ungrateful human being and you know a wrong doctrine can be a function of belief system as a result of not being well taught some people fight us today you know do you do what about this in your church no ah you don't do what about this now what do you do <laughs> Do you eat communion? We don't eat. Ah. So what are you eating? We eat Christ. <laughs> glory to God. I say glory to God. He say, ah. do you pay tithe in your church? No. What? What? You don't pay tithe? What? <laughs> Look at them and tell them, I give more than tithe. That will shut them up. I give more than tithe. I don't pay tithe but i give over the tithe why because what god has done for me 10 percent is too small to express it you humble them permanently what you tell them is shut up and don't talk again you are still struggling with 10 percent we have gone beyond we give more than 10 percent glory to god yeah we don't give 10 percent 10 percent is for old testament people 10% is for people that goats and animal were dying for. People that Jesus died for don't give 10%. They give more than 10%. If you tell them like that, eh, they will be going to the toilet and coming back. <laughs> Running to <stomach>. work. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? Let's continue. <laughs> Let's continue with our teaching. <laughs> so, so you don't baptize people in your church? Yes. Why? nothing is wrong with baptism he's just swimming <laughs> huh? he's not going to the toilet Say, ah, so you don't eat communion yes why nothing is wrong with communion it's snack in church <laughs> it doesn't mean anything we have the real deal we have found him he lives on our inside somebody is not shouting hallelujah Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 12 talked about a people that were preaching wrong doctrine. Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? This is error. It's not antichrist. This is as a result of wrong teaching. It doesn't mean these people are antichrist. For somebody to be antichrist, it must be a teaching that denies the humanity or the deity of christ so there were people who were preaching that there's no rapture that there will be no glorification of the body that means they were believers but had no knowledge but they were not antichrist look at second timothy chapter 2 verse 17 and their word will eat as dot a canker of whom is hymnios and philetus 18 who concerning the truth have erred saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrow the faith of some they erred means they didn't know much they are saying that the saints bodies are glorified already those are false teachings and some are saying that circumcision is necessary so if you're born again you still need to be circumcised those are false teachings but that doesn't make them antichrist brother paul rebuked them like we rebuke such people now antichrist is to deny the divinity and humanity of christ in other words the gospel affirms the humanity and deity of christ these are incontrovertible facts they are not facts that can be argued it's only the spirit of antichrist that argues with those facts so don't go around looking for the spirit of antichrist 
when people don't agree with you doctrinally you say you have antichrist no antichrist is not disagreement on doctrinal basis is disagreement on fundamental issues antichrist deals with certain facts facts like first corinthians 15 3 to 4 how that christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures look at first timothy 3 16 and without controversy great is the mystery of godliness god was manifest where in the flesh god was manifest so the spirit of antichrist denies this they all mention jesus but disagree with either his humanity or deity they all mention jesus they like jesus i'm telling you and they want to hear more of jesus they want to that is why when they come to the truth where jesus is well preached they get born again so antichrist can get born again when antichrist is confronted with that sound truth of the gospel some of them get born again you remember two days ago we were live on tv here a muslim called us and said eh, from niger state she said i'm a muslim but i love the teachings of dr damina i follow all the teachings and i want him to pray i have a prayer request i believe if he prays god will answer but i'm a muslim there are many of them that are following and the reason is because some of them were not told the truth they were deceived so when they come face to face with the truth about jesus and his love there's one thing you can't find in islam grace islam does not have grace islam does not know grace eye for eye leg for leg tooth for tooth if you steal they amputate your hand there's no mercy in islam so when you confront them with the love of god the mercy of jesus the grace of jesus it just overruns them they are not bad people it's just that they have not been given the right message they've not been given the right message when the right message gets to them and another problem they have is jesus being son of god they can't understand how god will have a son does god marry god cannot marry so how did he produce a son that means islam does not understand miracles because if they understand miracles they will know that a god who created the earth can decide to appear in any form and that's why when you meet muslims and you pray and miracles happen they get born again without argument because miracle ends up all of their wrong teachings and suddenly they want to know this person that can open blind eyes suddenly they want to know this person that can take off cancers suddenly they want to know this person that can cause the lame to walk am i talking to somebody we preach christ crucified 